Okay, welcome to uh, GUI Dictionary Lesson 1. Uh, in this uh, lesson, we're going to get started uh, using dictionaries and a GUI to store some information. Um, in this case, we're going to be storing an artist, you know, a singer or a band, and an album that they have recorded. So we're going to have one artist, which is the key in our dictionary, and we're going to have one album, which is the value. Okay, so when we think about programming, we need to think about what the computer does. So we're looking at, at the basics at least, we're looking at input and output. So we're putting information into the computer, taking information out of the computer. And with a GUI, it's kind of easy in, in some ways uh, because we're going to be using certain uh, GUI elements. So in our program here, here's an example, we have a label. So labels are used for outputting information. We have a text input box here which is used for inputting information, so whatever information I put into the computer. Uh, we have a list box, which is a little bit of both. Um, we can display information here, and then I can also click on items, which is kind of a way of inputting. And then I have some buttons, which, we'll, which we are connecting or binding to functions. So now, I've created this program already, and I'm going to walk you through the steps to do the same yourself. But uh, I want to show you uh, how it's supposed to work when we're done. So I've inputted already uh, some test data. So in the background, I've got three artists and uh, the associated albums. So if I click Show All, you'll see the artists, okay, the Cure, Bob Mould, and the Smiths. Now these are the keys. I'm not showing the values yet. I'm just showing the keys. So if I want to see the value, for example, I click on Bob Mould, click Show One, and I have it up here in my label, Bob Mould and BSOR, which means Black Sheets of Rain, classic album. So I can click the Cure, Show One, Disintegration, Smith's Show One, Meat is Murder. Now, I also want to be able to add an item. So what I've done is in my input box, I'm going to add it in the following format. I'm going to type the artist, comma, the album. So I might add Billy Bragg, comma. So that tells us where the artist name ends and the album begins. And workers playtime. And if I click add one, okay, it disappears from here, comes down here. I can click show one and it goes. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna hide that for now or close it. So Basically, we've got a GUI uh, and dictionary example. So just some comments. So this is part part one. This is just getting started. So this is just a, a good review of how to get a TK Inter uh, window up and running. So we need to import TK Inter. Now this is Python. Oops, TK Inter. This is Python 2.7. So Capitalization will be different if you're using uh, version 3 and above. Uh, so now I need to make my root window. I didn't have to call it root. I could have called it win. I could have called it other things. But we're going to use root and tk enter tk. Notice the capitalization. And I want to give it a title. Let's call it GUI dict uh, example. Very original, I know. Uh, just a couple comments because later we're going to put our functions here. We're going to put our GUI elements here. And to get the actual GUI up on the screen, we type root, which is the same as the window name that we made here. So root and dot main loop. Parentheses, I'm going to save that and run it and see what happens. OK, so you can see I've got my window. I've got the title. And that is it. So once you get to this point, uh, you're ready to start adding your GUI elements. You're ready to start adding uh, the rest of your code. So we'll do that in the next, we'll start that in the next video.